what's going on, family? It's your boy Trap Vision 3D, and uh, welcome to uh, lunchtime with your boy. <laughs> yeah, it is lunchtime. I know some of y'all are working hard. I'm sitting on my front porch enjoying this beautiful weather. So, uh, if you happen to catch the uh, thumbnail before you came in here, uh, y'all, what's going on, Kenny? What's going on, Vic? I know you guys are working hard right now. I uh, want to give you guys a quick update to kind of go over this whole uh, Jay-Z thing. And for those of you guys that's like, okay, is he talking about Jay-Z the rapper? No, we're talking about Justin Zimmer, which was, uh, uh, he was a part of Shop HQ for years. I'm talking about decades, you know what I'm saying? Or a decade in eight years or whatever it was. But um, he was just recently, well, we didn't know if he got fired or if he willfully just said, hey, this is it. So, uh... Before we get into what I know right now, because I've been reading the comments, man, and I have to say, from Facebook to Instagram to even my channel, I saw some of the craziest conspiracies, man. <laughs> some of y'all, man, I don't know where y'all got some of this stuff. It's so crazy, too. I can't even repeat some of it, man. It is wild, man. It's just crazy. Um, Yeah, even the one that was on my channel, I was like, I, mean, I don't know about that. Um, I, I don't know. When we find stuff out, when, when when stuff happens to people that we enjoy on TV or in this case, uh, let, let me finish this. Because I know some of the people that watch this channel, you guys know me through either in my hometown or you don't have any um, affiliation with Shop HQ. So Shop HQ is an online uh, shopping network, right? And we've been watching, a lot of us have been watching it for years. Uh, it went from what, I think it was Value Vision in the beginning to Shop NBC, or maybe I may have that backwards, but to, I came in when they were called Evine, and now it's uh, Shop HQ. And they have TV personalities. You have Candy, you have Ryan, uh, Fatima, you did recently had uh, Jay Z, uh, which we'll get into what I know so far, and um, we've just been accustomed to them. So we've watched. Some of us had the opportunity of going on a cruise and meeting these personalities, and they're awesome. And we've had dive cases signed by these people as well as other collectors. So it has been, um, it's been a bittersweet this whole ordeal. Um, a lot of there's been a lot of speculations on why. Uh, this man is no longer a shop. And what do we know about Shop HQ? The same thing you know, this publicly, public knowledge. Everybody can get this and we can all get on the same page with this. Shop HQ, as well as any other home shopping network, are all suffering financially for various reasons, right? Uh, but if you want to, if you're a finance type person and you know how to follow that stuff, Go type in Shop HQ on Google.com. Type in Shop HQ Financials, and you'll see exactly what I'm saying. Uh, could that have been a part of why Jay-Z left? Well, I do know this, and this is simple as this. There was a contract signing, and just like anybody else, if you don't come to terms, then you know you do one of two things, right? You either leave. Well, you signed up the contract. It, for some people to say he got fired, we don't know that. We didn't know that. That's not the word that I got, but it's one of those things. It was a mutual agreement, and they went their separate ways. Uh, this man still uh, encouraged and promotes that the channel, or actually uh, Shop HQ, because, I mean, he's been there. That's been his whole career from what we've seen. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, hold up, hold up. Let me see. Mr. Hightower walked in. Hey, what's going on? And I'm getting text messages as we're talking right now. Wow, Fizzle, I see you. So some of the theories and conspiracy theories and all of the stuff that I've seen so far, man, uh, some of it is, is hilarious, man. And I encourage some of you guys that have left those longer uh, conspiracy theories, man, you guys, if you don't have a career in writing or doing a movie, I encourage you, man, because, dude, some of that stuff was, it was juicy to look at and read. I was like, yo, that's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even repeat some of the stuff I read. <laughs> I can't repeat some of the stuff I read, man. It is crazy, though, man. It's, some of y'all are very creative, man. 
if he got fired, why would he be doing the whole giveaway with Invicta? Uh, well, here's the deal. I do know that he is, he's actually employed by InvictaStores.com. So, I mean, he's employed by Invicta. So it made sense for him to go to the InvictaStores.com. It only makes sense. So I, I take it that, I don't know what their contract look like though, when they going over there working with shop and how many hours they got to put in, what the, what's, what's the pay like. Uh, and another thing that was public record and there's, um, if I, I'll put in the chat, I'll go back to the actual podcast I listened to and they can give you more, uh, more information on how shop HQ and all these other home shopping networks work when they're doing their contracts and what's required of them. Uh, because there's actually uh, one of the previous employees for Shop HQ or Evine or Shop NBC, iMedia. Let's just say that iMedia. This uh, this guy used to be uh, he used to showcase with RJ when RJ had I think it was young like when he started when he was walked away from being a model to actually showcasing this guy. And I can't remember his name, uh, but I'll put it in the comment section after this live is over with. Uh, he gives a breakdown and tells you in the meetings what they talk about and what's required and stuff like that. He even gives you a breakdown of what Shop HQ is uh, planning on doing going forward. So now that was I can't answer that question because I don't know. I don't know. I you know Cliff, I could tell you. I'm just I'm still playing it by ear. I'm gonna see where where this role leads, man. Because uh, I think that's that's pretty dope though. Uh, he's going to be dropping videos. I don't think he's going to be doing any lives yet, but he'll be dropping videos. And if you get a chance to win a watch, man, that'd be great, man. Especially the watches that 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 he'll be uh, showcasing, which if you just started collecting within the past, I'll say five years, they haven't done Val. I don't know when the last time they put a value movement out, but you know, Etta had, the Etta company had stopped selling to the third parties. But now it's back, and then Victor has them. And the first model that he showed was a Gladiator with the Value 7750. So now you guys may have heard about the Values being equipped or powered, powering the Invicta watches. It's back. Now you have an opportunity to actually get involved with that. Uh, but I will say this. I'm pretty sure there will be some other – information that comes out later and and again i told you guys if i find something out i'll let you guys know um well, you guys may find out let me know you know and, and we can have a whole discussion about it if you like i do just because this was completely unscheduled man i, I y'all know i don't do lives at, at lunchtime like that maybe every so often but i will say um jay-z has actually influenced me or encouraged me to grab a number of watches. And I actually have a few out here, uh, speaking of which. Now, if Jay-Z ever watched this, um, Jay-Z presented this piece right here, right? This pro diver. Oh, I didn't do a watch check. My bad, y'all. I got that snob strap on, my meteorite pro diver, 46 millimeter joint. Reserve. You already know what the media right now, you know. Um, now Jay Z had presented this watch, and I was like, "Oh, I like that because it actually has the model number from back in the day. It's the same type of watch, but here's the difference: it has a different movement in it. it has a uh, the Ronda Seven Fifteen, and I was gonna get it from Shop HQ, but I just happened to go to New York during uh, last year uh, when I hosted that event, and they had it in there, and this is the watch I got. So I didn't get it for sh from shop. However, Jay-Z did uh, sort of encourage me to uh, get that watch. And there's been a ton of watches that I've purchased because of, of his recommendation. And that was one thing that I see a lot of you guys were talking about in the chat is that you're going to miss that. And I, I hear you guys calling Shop HQ. Um, know this. I do know this. You know, if you call in for a testimonial, right, and you talk about the watch at hand that makes people interested. And this is and I'm telling you from a customer standpoint, because I've actually heard customers say this, that they bought 
off the recommendation of the person giving the testimony. So case of point, Godfather influences a number of people when he calls in. Mr. Fantastic, right? And you got Felix now. And but before that, you had the regulars, man. You know, me, I call in, Vic will call in, John the phone guy. Uh, there's a number of people that used to call in. And because we have been either posting a lot of watches on Instagram or me doing this, John used to have his own show on here, which is still up. You can still watch his stuff. Uh, people took our words for it. You know, like, you know what? I'm going to get, get that because they know what they're talking about. I heard this is testimonials from actual collectors. And if you go through some of my old videos, and look at the comment sections or go to John's and look at the comment section. Even Tommy Big Times, look at the comment section. Now, Tommy's never called in the shop. However, if Tommy would have called into shop just to give this testimony on a particular watch back in the, what, the Grand Octane, guarantee you somebody would have purchased a watch based on his testimony because they believe what he's saying. They, and plus, he's on YouTube. Uh, hold up. Let me get this comment. Most of my divers and the Victor pieces period. Jay-Z is the one that got me to want. See, so there you go. Vic is not. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm missing out on the whole conversation. Um, I get to that in a second. So, so here's, here's the skinny. <laughs> Jay-Z is definitely going to be missed on the network. And I will say this, there's an opportunity here to actually Shop both, you know, because I doubt people will stop shopping. Now, I, I'll take that back because I know some people that said they're not going to mess with shop anymore because Jay-Z, you have every right to feel the way you feel. You know, um, now, if it comes out that there was something heinous that happened, then, you know, I will go with it, you know. But, again, we said this on the other video, or I said this on the other video, and if it was something, like, terrible that, their producers know if we put this out based on the conversation that's been on Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube, that man, I wouldn't no, I wouldn't put that out. I'm just being honest, just me. I'm like, man, we're gonna have to spin this story because if we say that, you know, you can say, just tell us the truth, that'll kill a sales. Now, granted, are you owed the truth? I would say, yeah, but that's one of them catch-22s, man. That could be the uh, nail in the coffin because we all know that uh, on Shop HQ, Invicta is a huge component. And I can tell you that because last night I was watching Shop. I saw the number. Now, now the numbers have dipped anyway, regardless. The numbers have dipped. But that Constantine Weiss was on last night. Man, it was like 70 y'all in the chat. And I came in and spoke and nobody said anything for like <laughs> almost 40 minutes. <laughs> and I said, they're not watching this. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's some people shopping. Somebody, I think there was like two call-ins. My bad, y'all. I'm knocking the camera over. There was two call-ins. And uh, it's probably more than that but because I was in and out. But uh, you guys didn't come alive until they put on, um, what was it, Imperius and uh, whatever else was on Chase Door. And that's something that is in the realm of Invicta because it falls under the same category. I guess Chase Door is, you can actually shop Chase Door on or look at their models on the Invicta group page. So, of course, you can do Imperius as well. Uh, what's going on, Rich? How you doing? Welcome in. Trap Jay-Z, you. Invic got me. Uh-uh. Trap ain't got you. I'm, I ain't nobody, bro. I didn't influence you to buy anything, sir. No, sir. I hope all is well. All right, all right. So, as of right now, as of right now, all I know is that there was a an agreement that did not, that wasn't agreed upon. So, Jay Z went his own ways. Um, the conspiracy theories will, I know they will continue to go, but until something is concrete that we have, man, that's, that's it. Now, again, on the other side of that, 
some of the conspiracy theories are super entertaining. And I'm not even going to lie. Some of you guys can tell some great stories. <laughs> Man, dang, boy. Y'all got me going on, on some of the stuff that y'all said. But there's, I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of comments that's been made between these different uh, medias, media sources. Oh, hold on, let me see. What are you saying? Mr. Rich, my Kingsman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I didn't see that. So that's all I got. Let me see how much time we see. I did that in 16 minutes. Actually, I was actually done before that. So in other news, this Sunday, man, I have something on me. This Sunday, this Sunday, somebody's coming out of retirement. I got on the phone with a particular uh, collector. And if you don't know, I haven't seen it or did get the update or uh, sometimes YouTube don't tell you when I'm going live. But six o'clock uh, this Sunday, the 28th, I will be going live in a, uh, let's see, state of the collection with Mr. Awesome himself. Oh, awesome. Yes, Kevin James will be on the show, man. He will be my co-host and we're going to talk watches and if you follow him on Instagram, we're going to get an update on uh, Bumblebee. He has a Camaro, yellow Camaro, that he is literally updating and freaking out. And I think he just got some rims or something like that. I have to, I have to go back and see. I haven't seen the latest uh, update to his car. But, yeah, man, Mr. Energy himself will be on the show this, su this Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what that is. Uh, what is that? Okay, so on the West Coast, of course, it'll be early for y'all. Well, I don't know. Maybe y'all, some of y'all may still be in church. I'm not sure. If you're in Indianapolis, the, ra well, the race will be over by then, which I'll be at the track this Sunday. And if y'all don't know, what's up, Joe? Shaq is DJing here. I may run into him. If I do, man, I'm like, yo, Shaq, what's happening? Let's, let's get a uh, See what that what's on the wrist. If you ain't got nothing on the wrist, I'm calling him out. Shaq, I'm calling you out if you don't have nothing on your wrist. Yeah. Yeah. I may even do a uh on the spot battle. If he ain't got nothing word worthy, I'll bring some watch with me. I'm like, hey, I win by default and I'm a blast him. Like I just be be Shaq in a watch battle. Just like that. Hey, who okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Joe's in here. Traffic. Don't do that, bro. <laughs> Try to play me like Shop HQ. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Humes Empires in the building, but I ain't even see you, man. What's, what's happening? What's happening, family? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, other than that, I ain't messing with it. I ain't messing with it. Uh, we got some other stuff coming up. Uh, our scheduling is sort of weird right now with some personal stuff so uh there's a couple of videos that i want to get out to you guys a couple of lives i'm going to do and uh actually bring battles back uh because i want to get at least two battles in before the uh the cruise so and hopefully we get to do a battle on the cruise so if you are going on that maryland invicta cruise in, in Victor group, right? And you want to battle? I'm going to do a battle on the cruise, right? And that's not scheduled through them. That's something that I'm doing separate of what they're doing. They got their own itinerary, but this is something that I'm doing. We're going to have a battle. And more than likely, it's going to be on the Lido deck. We gonna, well, I got to see how it's going to work out, but we definitely going to have a battle. And that's what it's going to be. So if you're going on that cruise and, and you think you got what it takes, man, to step up to somebody else in their collection, you know how I feel about it. Yeah, I'm going to have some music, too. I'm going to be the DJ. I'm going to be the MC. I'm going to do everything, man. I'm, yeah, we're going to get it. You feel me? Trap. Let me see. I know Vic called you about me. Maybe. <laughs> Jay Jones, what do you quit, sir? What do you, what do you quit? What do you quit? I, I'm trying. I, I I I would like to know. You say trap. I quit. And what do you quit? I'm trying to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Are you quit? Did you quit walking to the park? 
on your lunch break or just like uh during lunchtime? Is that what you're saying you quit? Did you quit smoking or if you ever smoked? Like what do you what do you do? Did you quit eating sweets or something? I, I I'm not sure. Yo. I had my shoes off on the plane back from Cali and there were no complaints. Oh. Uh, you quit buying. What what did you quit buying? Stromboli sandwiches? Uh let's see. Hold on. I, I can figure this out. I can figure this out. Hmm. Hmm. You stopped buying milkshakes at McDonald's. Right? Is that what it is? I mean, you you have to tell me that make the milkshake machine barely works anyway. Attaboy, Vic. Onward. <laughs> you are petty. <laughs> y'all, this is the petty. Y'all got to know what we talking about. It's a it, inside joke. <laughs> Hume's Empire, Mr. Unbox, you are petty. You're the epitome of pettiness right now. Janet, Jared talk. He stopped buying Geritol. Okay. What about Invicta watches? You like it? We know you like Invicta watches, sir. We know. We know. I, I, I do know. I promise I know you like Invicta watches. Or are you trying to say that you quit buying Invicta watches? Now, when you say that, you have to be more specific. All right, have you quit buying Invicta watches for today? this week or have you switched over to Aragon or Chase Dewar? I think it was Chase. Oh, I got it. I'm reading in between the lines, sir. So you stopped buying the Victor watches for the moment to uh, focus your attention on Aragon, Chase Dewar and Imperius. Got you. All right. Hey, hey, man. Matter of fact, shout out to Invicta for bringing back Imperius, man, because you know what I'm saying? Your boy got one right here, man. Shout out to Jay Jones. For up in the ante and uh buying that. Oh, and this is a Jay Z inspired purchase right here, which I'm doing a uh a review on this watch, an updated review on that watch. It was at some point. Mail me some burger barn. Trap for the week. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I got it. I got it. You you're not buying any watches for the week. Oh, you're not buying any Invicta watches for the week. I got you, man. I, me and you here. Me and you here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, before we go, before we go, so the people we got in the chat, man, is there any updates? Is there any new watches coming, man? Have you guys made any stark discoveries, man? Anything? Let me know in the chat. I'm wearing an Imperius today. Joe, Mr. Wrist Roll. We got to have you on the show, Joe. We got to have you on, bro. We got to have you on, man. Like, yeah, yeah. And speaking of Joe and my man Vic, I want to thank all of the people that sponsor this show, which that happens to be all my members. And guess what? We got a new member, man. The same guy that did my theme song, Mr. Tony Woe, has just become a member to this channel. And we are moving upwards and onwards. And uh, guess what's coming, y'all? Your boy's working on some new designs for dog tags. And all of my members will receive a dog tag, a specialized dog tag. Yes, sir. Courtesy of your boy, just thankful that you guys have believed in the channel, believed in me and what we're doing over here, man. And just having fun, man. Honestly, I, I enjoy. I'm glad I didn't stop because y'all don't know I was going to pull the plug. Vic know about it. I'm not JJ. Nothing new for me. I'm going to buy Hamilton when I go to Florida. Sweet. I'm wearing the periods today. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wild, nice. Yeah, man. Hey, Vic, let me know. What I, man, I can't wait you get that. We're going to be twinning. You feel me? Hamilton's, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if you guys haven't bought, purchased the Hamilton, man, go just check it out. If you got a, a an AD or someplace that Macy's sell Hamilton's too, but you have to check first. Uh, I would I would recommend that you go in, type in the word Hamilton watches, and then do a search, do your filter, but search where that thing is located because most of uh, Macy's Hamilton's are online, but then they'll take it offline and send it to an actual store. So uh, 
if you have a Macy's buy you, you want to go check it out to see it in person and, you know, actually feel it in your hand and stuff like that, I would recommend that before you actually buy it. But they are really nice watches, man. Really nice. Oh, Rich, you got the 7750? Well, I'm, I'm not surprised, sir. I'm not surprised. I'm not. Hey, Ma. Y'all, my mom is... She She my, uh, my anchor lady. She making sure everything is... Uh, Ma'am? None of them talking to the, to the people. I'm talking to the people. We got Vic. We got Rich. Vic said, hey, ma. Uh, let me see who else we got in here. We got Jay Jones. We got the Humes Empire. Yeah, we got a number of people. She's still asleep. No, still. Is she, she woke? Yeah. Oh, I ain't seen she ain't came out yet. I ain't seen her. Oh, yeah, man. Happy birthday to uh, Mama Vic, the woman that gave birth to that. That guy that y'all see down there. 89 years old. Man. Vic's mom's bir birthday is today. She said, <laughs> catch you guys later. All right, Joe. Yeah, we about to get up out of here, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Before we go then, wait a minute. Somebody just requested to come up, so. Let's do this. Since we got it live, why not? You know what I mean? Why not do it? Yeah. So I just dropped the link because I just got actually got a request uh, for someone that wants to come up live. And uh, I'm not opposed to it. If you want to come up, say a few words or post a uh, show what you got on your wrist. Or just stop by. The link is in there. The link is in there. So as a matter of fact, let's do this real quick. Let me give. Uh, give me a second, y'all. I normally see this at night, man. Normally YouTubers do this at night, and uh, you get to see their profile picture and. See that they doing that. So just give me a quick second. Y'all still there, man. I'm just posting this thing up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we got somebody, man, that hasn't been on... Their channel is such a, a, a long time, and it's always good to see my man, my big bro. What's happening, bro? What's good? We got John Gang, Gang, Gangy in the building. What's happening, bro? Um, I'm hearing an echo, so I must have something on. Man, right. I don't hear echo. You don't hear nothing? Nope. I hear an Can you hear me, though? I, oh, I hear you. Loud and clear, sir. Loud and clear? All right, good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, you out you out in beauty right now, man. So what do you want? Man, to get in your business? There ain't no business to get into. What you want? Nah, man. Hey, listen, listen. Are you we, called me? Hey, listen. No, nah, no. Nah, you don't understand. We already just got through talking about Jay-Z and Shop HQ. We, we I, heard I heard some things. I heard some things. Okay, so all right, so enlighten us, sir. Oh, are you at liberty to talk about what you heard? Jay Z. All right, hold on. Let me see. I gotta get rid of this echo. I think all right, I got rid of the echo. Okay. All right, so I heard some things, all right. So Jay Z apparently was um checking out some jewelry. I don't I don't want to say by who, but um apparently he kind of got involved with the person that was selling the jewelry. Really? And the wife. Man. I think it was, um, uh, <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> just things I heard. I'm just saying. Hey, man, hey you know I, what? It was a, it was a, it was a, a wife daughter kind of situation that he got himself involved in. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Man, got to be more careful. <laughs> well, I, these are only rumors that I've heard. I, I can't <laughs> verify any of this. I'm sure none of it's true. I'm just saying things I've heard. <laughs> bro, some of the stuff I've seen in these chats, bro, have been hilarious, bro. I can't even imagine what you're saying. Bro, yeah, I'm talking about this. So, and then, and then the, the list to the people call in. And instead of them talking, they'll mention the watch, but they'll be like, man, where's Jay-Z at? <laughs> I'll be like, man, Jay-Z ain't there, bro. What y'all doing? <laughs> I mean, you know, you can't sleep with the owner's wife and daughter at the same time and expect to come out of that clean. I'm not saying who's, who's who, which owner of whatever. I'm just saying. Bro, I'm telling you, the rumors go, man. And again, it's the only things I've heard. I haven't really, you know, I, I can't speculate as to what the truth is. I'm man, I'm trying to tell you, bro. It has been uh But dude's been working in a warehouse work. right now, I'm just saying. Oh, is that what it is? Isn't he? I thought he's working in a warehouse. He he is. He's working for Invicta warehouse. So all mm. those you got, so so right now, Jay-Z is bringing though is you know how you get the uh the email blast and the text message that there's a sale 20% off here, 10% off, whatever the case is. Yeah. Jay Z is now the face behind that. So you got the pictures. Amazing deal, stupendous, phenomenal. And now you got Jay-Z, one of the most complete watch sellers in America. Well, then I guess the owner's not too mad. It's always a woman that is that is a man's downfall. Are we talking about the Garden of Eden, sir? I'm just, I'm just saying. Who said that? Uh Cliff. Oh, Cliff. <laughs> every bad every bad thing that's ever happened to me was my own doing. Let's put it that way. No, I'm not claiming I'm not claiming it's uh, it's everybody else's fault. I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm just running my mouth, y'all. Don't listen to me. Hey, don't go by me either. I'm just telling you They stuck him in a warehouse of punishment. <laughs> I'm just telling you nobody can fuck up my life like myself. Let's put it that way. Right? So man, let me ask you this though. Let me ask, and yeah. I'm asking everybody that's still in the chat right now. Do you think that this is a good thing for um, just for Invicta as a whole? I mean, because Jay Z is, is, I mean, he's a great talent, man. When it comes to uh, like knowing the the, the merchandise, Don't nobody really know it. Like him and J him and uh, R J are complete with knowledge. So yeah, I, yeah. Captain Photon. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what I mean, I would, you know, if they can um I don't know what it costs to keep Jay Z on board, but you know, if you get maybe but you gotta I don't know, and that's the thing too, is is that could be very well the case, man. Like if you gotta read like come to your uh, an agreement on money, and let's say I'm just speculating, let's just say part of the conversation was like, hey, we can keep you on, but we're going to have to take your pay down to this. When you say taking it down, I would be like, no, sir. But again, the money that Shop HQ, and this is what I do know, this actual factual, they did sell three of the four buildings that they own up in Minnesota, and they have been suffering financially for a couple of years. Yeah. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, COVID did a number on everybody. Everybody. I know, but I think they thrived in COVID and then came out of it and didn't plan on... It's kind of hard to plan on that because it's never really happened before. Yeah. But coming out of COVID, you know, then now people are realizing ain't got it like that or, you know, whatever. Um, okay, so let's, let's, say, let's say, for instance, they did thrive through COVID, right? Once they came out of COVID and all the stimulus money and everything was put back into the people's hands to spend, guess what happened? People became personal contractors. There were a lot of watch companies that came out. There were a couple of uh, a, a dozen, more than a dozen uh, micro brands born. 
And that's yeah. competition for a shot because some of these micro brands, a lot of them are using the same Seiko NH35, NH38. Mm -hmm. the, um, and some of them are using the 2824s, which Invicta wasn't using, and these uh, micro brands were. And they were still like the Swiss watch company, right? You yep. get a Swiss made movement, like as soon as you order it, they put it together for like 500 bucks. I mean, think about what what was a reserve uh, like the uh, Venom Hybrid was four twenty no five twenty nine back in the day if it had diamonds or if like it had the uh, Swiss made logo on it eighty four yeah. in that thing was upward of five hundred dollars easy yeah easy so you do the math on that when pe like that Swiss designation means much more now than it did four years ago with people. Is you get older, like as you become an older or more uh, seasoned vet when it comes to collecting watches, your knowledge of these things and you just jump on it, man. Because I was like that. I didn't care about Swiss made at one point. But like now it's like you want to have at least one or two uh, authentic Swiss made pieces in your collection. It's just, yeah. That's just it. Let me see what he's saying. I mean, I got one on the wrist. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pur pur purple carbon fiber X wing imperious. Yeah, I just I just showed mine a minute ago. Look that's that. probably what, that's probably what summons you. It's like the uh, Thundercat symbol, man. I was like, I actually, I don't know why, but I actually got a um a notification about it, and I'm like, what? Because I don't get, I normally don't get notific. I never know when you're live because I don't get the notifications, and I'm not on here like that no more. So, um, so Vic said he was, thinks that people will flock to stores even if they haven't already. I don't. Uh, the pr with the price of gas still up, and the price of food through the roof. I think people don't have as much disposable income no more. It's just not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, eggs is costing nine dollars a carton. Well, they've come down, but I'm, they're still high. But they've come down. Matter yeah. of fact, they're probably gonna they're probably gonna drop because people have been going away from it. So. I mean, Vic got me. Tommy had big boy. You with the pro dollars, I have. Rose and silver magnum. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I wear Aragon more, but Invicta is more popular. Yeah. On the four Invicta cruises, I got some negative feedback. I think Aragon's gaining popularity, though. Man, Aragon, man, Wing is out here doing his thing, man. And if you guys are not familiar with Aragon, uh, I do not have any in the in my case right now, but Aragon is man legit. Aragon is legit. He's been and he's been so creative and pushing it out, man. Yeah, but I he doesn't be. um he doesn't overly complicate things. He doesn't put a billion things out there and you know there's times when you can get you can choose the different movements. Um you can you know you can choose what movement you want, which is nice. That's a that's right. a that's right. a really right. nice option to have. So if you don't want to, you know you could upgrade or downgrade, or if you want the date, uh, if you want just the date or you want the day date, you know, you can do that. It's, I like that option. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's phenomenal. And, and again, and his quality have, is good. You got, you have to think though, man, collectors, competition is stiff right now. You yeah. know, you guys know I featured a couple of micro brands on my channel. And uh, I'm, I'm actually working on one behind the scenes, man, doing an interview with a company. I'll let you know if it comes to, 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 to pass. But um, if not that, we're still I'm still pushing forward at finding different options, man, because I, I like watches as a whole flat out. I enjoy, you know, like having the different dials, different finishes and all this other stuff, man. But the price, like you said, John, it's coming down to the price, man. If you can get a watch that is crafted well, put together, man, for around two fifty to three hundred dollars, and it's a non Invicta or non Aragon. Yeah, why not? I mean, because that's the going price. You can right. get a good Aragon, a great, an amazing Aragon for two hundred dollars. You can get a great deep blue that if you like divers, 
with an R one fifty for that price mm -hmm. without the bracelet. You know what I'm saying? So the kind it's yeah. too it's too many watches that's giving you these options, man. And I, you know, I'm gonna go a step further than what DK said. DK was like, you know, you don't owe any company no loyalty. You don't have to be loyal at all. Uh, it's down to what no, you no. want, down to what your pocketbook say. You know what I'm saying, or your wallet. That's it. Or your, or your preference, or whatever, or both. Yeah, yeah that, that at the end of the day. Um, but I still stand on this hill. There's still even even when Invicta, the company pisses you off to the point where you despise and you just want to burn their face off with some hot oil, you still go back and buy another one. A lot of people have. Now, there are some that's they they going down that hill. They say, I will never buy another victim. And that, hey, I'm like this. I'm not going to say yeah or nay if it's right or wrong. I mean, that's your choice. But for the most part, most people are loyal uh, to a fault. And those yeah. that and you know, there's been some that walked away. They still got their eye on it, waiting for them to come out with something that attracts them, and then they'll snatch it. And like, I'm gonna just sit over here. Oh, okay, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna sit back. It happens. Arizona. It's been a while since they put out anything that I even desire anymore. So I'm good. I got plenty of watches. I got too many watches. Yeah. Cliff said he got 39 Aragons. Looking for your 40th. That's a good amount. Oh, I did not catch that one yet, Cliff. The sneak peek of the uh, Central Kirby. I haven't caught that yet. All right. Aragon just had a sale $108 on the 8040M movement, which is amazing, man. That's just telling you where we are, though. Honestly, John, think of you know how much uh, these watches were in the day with the 840 Yeah, this is a 5040. So, I mean... Bro. I wouldn't part with it for a hundred bucks, but I suppose. Bro, I, I mean, I'm looking at like right now. So I got I don't have the original the original Imperius out here, but I do have the Invicta Jailbreak, which was an Imperius at first. Shoot, I didn't pay it, it that, as much as I remember when it was, man, like six hundred dollars for this watch. This right here was six hundred. This has a, a Salita two hundred in there. Yes. And I got it for about two seventy or something like that. And an Invicta store is a red tag. And if you don't see that watch or any one of those jailbreaks like it without, if you see one of those watches, the jailbreaks without the SW two hundred, it is not an original Imperius. Oh. DK. What's the? I can't look. My eyes are so bad. I can't read. The writing DK is so said, small. DK said, so we just going live without telling the source now. I see how it is. <laughs> hey, man, look. Ain't nobody mess with you because you just got that new fancy Bell and Ross, man. We not in your league anymore, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to trouble you with my little petty show, bro. Like, man, look, you royalty, bro. I can't. The fact that you here now, my stock just went up 100%. So I appreciate even the two two lines you just dropped. Don't make me come down to Louisiana and smack you with one of them bamboo slippers. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things I want to say. I I've been I've been very good lately. I'm telling you, I've been very good because I wanted to say something before and I kept my mouth shut <laughs> about the micro brands. Hey, bro. You know where I want to go with that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And my man said he had to start catering to my time zone. What? He said we got to start catering to his time zone. <laughs> I don't even know what state he's in. I still don't know to this day what state he's in. Man, he I keep saying Louisiana. I don't even think that's right. I think it's like Mississippi. I don't even know. Yeah, that Alabama. Be, I don't it even know. Alabama, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's down there. That's all I know. That's a hot. That's a, man, Louisiana, that place is hot. And Mississippi, I, I was at both of them places. Good Lord, is it hot down there. Woo. Well, let me tell you this. My Mississippi story, I've been I've been to training in Mississippi a few times when I was in the Army. And I was doing my leadership course um, so I can uh, advance to the next level. And we came next to this river. And they had us down 
and we were on the side of the road as if we were getting attacked, right? And you had to bark out these orders, and our team lead will let us know when it's time to move. So I'm laid down in a prone position, and I got my rifle, and it's hot. We on the pavement, you know what I'm saying, on the blacktop. It's hot, but then there's, like, some grass and dirt and stuff, and I'm looking over at the river, and I see this log, and it's getting closer. And I said, wait a minute. That log, did that log just blink at me? Doggone alligator. I said, hey, drill's over. <laughs> I got up and I was out of there. It came up out the water, man, on that beachhead. I said, no, sir. No, sir. You're not about to get me. Mm -mm. I don't play with wildlife, man. Do not feed the animals. Nope. No, hey, sir. Did, did you have any people of my ilk that were standing there just staring at it going, oh, that's an alligator? Yes. They was like, oh, yeah. that's I, I would have been out of there too. I ain't messing with no alligator. Alligator, snakes, stuff like that. I'm gone. Like if I see a snake, I am gone. Man, gone. Go. Like you, whew, you will not find me. Mm -mm. Can't, that I stuff can't scared me. I ain't messing with no bears. I'm not messing with none of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Hey, Ma. We got a uh, John Gang Gangers on here. Hi, Mom. John. John. Hey, John. How you doing, Mom? I'm hanging. <laughs> I know. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you got a beautiful son there. How you doing? I'm getting there. Day by day, I'm getting there. Oh, that's good. How are you doing? I'm hanging. Yeah. Lord you got your beautiful... She said she you got your beautiful know. son there, huh? He hanging. <laughs> All right. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Hanging's good. Yeah, that's good. Yes. <laughs> so happy to talk to you today. It's great. Good to talk to you, too. I just went and saw my mom. Oh, really? Yes. I was taking care of her for 10 years, and we had to move her. How old is your mom? My mom is 95. Boy, it's still alive. What a nice, uh, that's nice. That's really nice. That yes. She, she, uh, she, 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 she really, really nice. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes, it is. What you did for? Uh-oh. What did I what? What you do for? I took care of her for 10 years before we moved her. Oh, well, that's good. That's good that you took care of her. Yeah, I took, I took, I was, I was her caretaker for 10 years. Oh, well, that's a blessing. Yes, it is. For sure. Yeah, that's a blessing. You want me to come out there and take care of you now? Yeah. Okay. I'll pack my bag. Oh, yeah, you will. I would. Ooh, I would ooh, for you. I would. Been, he he's been here before, ma. He lives well, in Connecticut. He just stay out in Connecticut. Well, Connecticut. Me. Okay, I'll come take care of you. Yep, you do that. I I'm, will. I'll be sitting here waiting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all getting exclusive, y'all. Never seen it before. <laughs> this is exclusive stuff, man. My mom's ain't never been on YouTube. She don't never do none of this. She don't like me on nothing. So this is exclusive. What you about to say? Yes, it is. Uh, I don't have any more, ma. So you just want a regular banana? Okay, I get you one. I get you one. Get you. You got to drink you some water too, because your your levels is high. You don't have no bananas in that house. What's wrong? I think we do. My mom loves bananas. And ice cream. What did you say, John? My said, mom loves bananas. You should he, Your son should have more bananas in the house and plenty of ice cream for you. Yeah, he needs butt kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> but that oh, my God. Going. Hey, the great Santini. Hey, what's going on, man? 
For real, got to get back to work. Get yeah, get back to work. DK, I'm weak on that one, man. That is crazy. We got to make my percentage so I can go buy some more watches. Jay, jump, Ma, There's a guy. He lives out in New York, and he has over 300 Invicta watches. Watches like that? Yeah, like yeah, all these. What you gonna do with all those watches? Give me one. Yeah, he, he will. He he'll give you one. I got Johnny. A- Johnny, Johnny, come lately. <laughs> Johnny, come lately. That's your new name. You're going to have to use that. <laughs> Johnny, come lately. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dying. Oh, my God. There's so much there I can work with, but I, I your mom's there. I'm not going <laughs> to. Oh, my gosh. John's just happy to be in there somewhere. That's all I'll say. Hey, and i tell you what. Here on this show, you never know what may happen. <laughs> you never know. And when John comes on the show, his shows were random. And we are definitely in the, the, the realm of random. Twilight zone, if you will. And I'm trying to be good. I really am. Don't try. Do it. Uh-oh. You're right, Mom. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm being good. Good. <laughs> I was at church this weekend. I went to church. Well, that was a blessing. Yes. Every well, weekend I've been going. That's a blessing that you go. Yes. Yeah, that's right, Mom. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. How's your mom? I was very thankful this weekend, for sure. Yeah, you. It's a lot to be thankful for to have a mom. Trap out of space. No, Jay Jones, you're out of space, sir. My uh, Jay, jo- Jay, Jay Jones is the police, ma. Oh, you're a police? No, Jay Jones, he he's the police. He always sh- flashing his badge at me. Try he tried to commandeer my watches the other day, like this is Dragnet or something. Oh, well, you can pass me one of these watches, John. Boy. <laughs> I'll get whatever watch you want. I will send out to you for sure. I, actually, I'll bring it to you. Boy, I'm telling you, these watches are so heavy. They're very heavy. She messed with the uh, S1 Beast that I got. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I'll bring it. I'll bring it one that's nice and light. Maybe a uh, Boy. a Sabaqua Noma one with a strap. This thing here is so heavy you can't hold a carry. <laughs> I'm going to show him what you're looking at, Ma. This is what she's looking at. <laughs> of course that one's heavy. You picked the right. biggest one there. <laughs> Try to wait till you see. see. No. No, I don't want to see you. What's up, Rod? Say love, Jay-Z. Yeah, man. We were, uh, we were discussing the uh, conspiracy theories and things. What's up, Ma? Ain't no, uh, Mm-mm, it's, it's all gone. Where it done? Ain't it done? But be careful, Ma. Huh. All right. She's going out in the yard, y'all. She about to mess with uh flowers and stuff. That's all right. Flowers. I ain't steal your flower. I brought them down here so you can see them. No, no. You stole them. <laughs> I didn't steal your flowers, Ma. <laughs> hey, so what she what she's referring to is that she got these little glass flowers that glow at night. So they absorb the sunlight and at night yeah. they shine red and stuff. So we uh we brought them down to remind her of home, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? So but it had a reverse effect. She looked, she said, How did my flowers get here? I said, I brought them here, mom, so you can see them. You took my flower. I was like, no, I so yeah, that's what I get for thinking. <laughs> good luck with that. Good good luck with that. You're going to be in trouble every day of your life now. <laughs> yeah. Remember him when he was doing Swiss Watch International in 2011. So, Rod, you go back. You go way back um, with Jay-Z. I don't, go f- I don't go back that far. I still miss the game show guy. Who, Todd Newton? 
<laughs> yeah, I love me some Tom Newton, man. And I and I also miss Brian too, Brian Johnson. Yeah, I, yeah. If Jay Z works in stores, isn't he still? I haven't talked to him in a while. I got to give him a. Yeah, he. I mean, so, yeah, he still works for AL. Um, but in Victor stores, though, I don't think. I have to get back with you on that one because I think there's somebody else over in Victor Stores. And um, AL owns the Victor Group as a whole, but in Victor Stores, I think he gives that power to somebody else. But all I can do is ask. Ask sources and see what what's what. If if that if that's the if that's the case, I will update. I won't do a whole live. I'll just probably put it on a short or something like that, or just Whatever. Instagram live or something. Yeah. Mom needs an angel. Yeah. Um we got some we got some watches in there for her to cause she like watches too. She my mama got some heat, man. She got a couple of boulevards and citizens, man, that they outdate that's older than me. So she got some heat. And man, don't ever let her fool you. She got some watches. She I got one or two. Mm, mom is killing it. But that's interesting. Hold up. Um, so Rod said he remember him uh, doing Swiss watches, Swiss Watch International in 2011. Yeah, I was nowhere to be found at that point. Yeah, 2011. I was still married then. In 2011, I think I was uh, on my second employment during that time. In 2011, I think I, I, think I was just entering the hating phase of my ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was just as I started to take off. What I tell y'all a minute ago, you never know what you're gonna get on this show. Yeah, I've been time. good. I've been good. Been very been, good. Okay, so so you said there's nothing new come. You know who I'm surprised? No, he's probably working right now, Dave D. Because Dave D normally uh chimes in, but we we're gonna give Dave D the, the day off. He don't yeah, like watches. He don't like watches. No, yeah, he, hates, he hates watches. He it's, hates it's, watches. You, you really got to draw it out of Dave to talk about a watch. I know, man. I know. Uh, he and I'm gonna tell you, watch company he hates the most. Uh, Alpina. He hates that. He hates Alpina. And Circa. Yeah, he hates those watch. He hates those watch companies. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So in in especially anything in Victor, he just don't you know he don't fool with. But I tell you what I hate. I don't think he's in here anymore. Uh, if you guys have watched uh, DK on Semicon Reviews, he just released uh, a Bell and Ross video. He just got the ugliest watch on YouTube right now. I hate it. I hope it breaks. That's how you say that. It's not Bellaru. Bellaru. Oh. That's what it should be, Bellaru. But it's Bell and Ross. Bellaru. It's, it's such a stupid looking watch on his. Bellaru. Is that something from Scooby? Is that what the heck I have no doing? idea. I'm just making stuff up. No, That's I just thought I I'd throw it in there. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't like, I mean, I, I do like the watch. I'm just messing with him because I want him to see that part. And where do where people get ideas for doing all these micro brand things? Where I don't even know where that all these ideas came from. Man, good idea, fairies, bro. You didn't know that? I'm just saying. I mean, what everyone's kind of. Everyone's kind of doing the micro brand thing right now. I don't know. I... Bro, I'm telling you, micro brand is a thing. It's in here. It's in here, bro. I just, you know what? I just signed up for Watch Crunch, right? And yep. I'm going to check it out some more. There's a lot of information to find out. But like when you sign up for it, there's a number of watches they asked, are you interested in? And it was like some names I've never seen before. I was like, what the heck? So there's a, there's a lot there's a lot out there. I'm talking about it's a ton of them. It's a ton of watches that you guys yeah. don't even know exist right now. Watch companies that exist, and it's crazy. So we'll get into more of that. I'm going to uh, really dive into this watch crunch thing and see where it takes. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. Oh, all right. There was no more comments. What's That's up, Mike? You trying to get you some coffee? She's back. Yeah. I thought she was out in the yard. Man, mom, she's been going back and forth. (laughs) 
Yeah. Okay, ma. All right. So, duty calls, ladies and gentlemen. I understand that. I'm about, to, I'm about to end the show, ma. I'm about to All right, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Before I go, before I go, hold on. Look at them in the yeah, I'll do the same. I'll show I'll show the yard or nothing. I'm trying to get my head out of there. My head too big. Ah, uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow. Is that honey? Yeah. Hi honey. We're hurt. Snotty nose. Love the hair, honey. She just, uh, I think she just woke up. Yeah. So. It's looking that way. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another Trap Vision production my, uh, with my man, John Gang Gang Gangy, Moms, Honey, and everybody that's been in the chat. Oh, man, I appreciate you stopping by. Here, I'm going to get you something in a second, Mom. Give me a second. Let me, I'm going to end the show. Uh, I heard Jay Z left because they mixed the Heritage Magnet. Wow. Now we're really reaching. <laughs> reaching for the stars. Godfather. Hey, what's going on, man? So, what's up, Godfather? Day. So, yes, like I was saying, everybody that's been in the chat participating and talking and, and dropping your comments and even giving us a little history lesson as to when Jay Z actually started his thing. Greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. Hey, John, thanks for popping up, man, and keeping me company on here. Thanks for having me, bro. And entertaining moms, man. I appreciate you, bro. We'll talk. Uh, me and I'm, you I'm, used, I'm used to entertaining moms, yes. I know. You got. Uh oh. Not Come like Jay Z. Not like Jay Z did, but. Right. Here, hold up. Here. <laughs> and that's just, that's pure speculation. I don't, I have no information as to anything that. So. Ladies and Just gentlemen, think, things right here. I will see you guys this Sunday and prepare for uh, DK has a show on Semicon Reviews. I'll come over there and harass his show as well. My show starts at 6 p.m. and then you can go over to uh, DK's and let's harass him. So until the next light and strike, ladies and gentlemen, y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. <laughs>